The House of Representatives has called on the federal government to quickly intervene and save detained Nigerian Suleiman Olufemi from execution in Saudi Arabia. Olufemi and 12 others were accused of killing a police officer during a fracas in a popular Arab nation, and though 11 of them have regained freedom, the last out of the 12 has died during incarceration. Suleiman awaits execution with his only chance of getting clemency tied to if the youngest child of the diseased officer is willing to accept blood money in place of the death penalty for Ulufemi according to Saudi laws. The House Committee, while speaking to federal representatives from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Nigerians in the Diaspora Commission and Amnesty International commended them for their efforts in trying to seek clemency for Suleiman. All we are saying is appealing to their emotions. They don't do emotions with law. We do emotions with law here. They don't. So we're hoping that with your intervention, Madam Chairman, with the intervention of the Attorney General, we can save this soul. But at the same time, we keep warning our citizens, avoid, don't be where you shouldn't be. There has been engagement with the family in terms of getting the family to just accept some kind of ransom so that Mr. Olufemi could be released. And the form of ransom will be dictated by what is obtained in Saudi laws for what may be called as blood money, if you like. If not for the fact that uh, the daughter of the deceased, um, you know, had to be of age, you know, the, the king will have ratified, uh, you know, this uh, death sentence and he will have been executed. Last year, 184 people were executed in Saudi Arabia, including uh, uh, a number of Nigerians. So we, we take these issues very seriously, and we're very grateful that you're also taking these issues seriously, because um, you know execution is not um, uh, you know, the Saudi authorities do not you know uh, uh, um, uh, relent in, in carrying the executions if they want to. I indeed feel very very sad if an innocent soul is executed, and if genuinely. He is innocent. Yes, the Saudi Arabians have their laws, and execution is, in, is within their laws. We cannot change that. But what we can do is try and implore the Saudi government to look at this case again with an unbiased eye. Because if this young man is innocent and is indeed executed, it is a sin against humanity and it is a sin before Allah.